Hey guys, it's Temp Tech, and this is a review on the 3 Doodler 2.0. Now straight off the bat, I have to tell you guys, after using this device, the 3 Doodler, you will get clogs. There is some skill involved, yes, a learning curve, and you need lots of patience. I suggest getting a stencil and using a stencil if you're going to make anything complicated like this Eiffel Tower. Any average person will not make this without a stencil. So basically it's a 3D pen. You get to sculpt uh, things out of plastic and I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm going to show you how to set it up and maintain it. So in case it gets ever clogged, I'm going to show you how to clean it out. All right, so let's go ahead and take the box off right here. And it comes with a little manual right here. Quick startup guide. You open it up and obviously that's the power that goes in right here. Insert your different kinds of uh, plastic strands and then you also you have to wait maybe like maybe 30 seconds for it to warm up. It, it kind of works like a hot glue gun in a sense. So here's the button features. So this top button is for slow speed. You hold it down and it'll feed the plastic strand through the tip slowly. Now if you double click the buttons, there's also another feature. When you double click the top button, it'll auto feed without holding down the button slowly. Now if you're switching out plastic strands for a different color, then you want to hold down both buttons and it'll actually reverse the plastic strand out of the unit and then you can swap out strands. Now to prevent clogging, they recommend you snip the ends so it doesn't clog the unit. And if your unit ever gets in a jam, then there's a little trap door that you can clean out the unit. I'm going to show you how to do all that. So here it is. It has a nice paint job right here. Feels like it's maybe aluminum. And here's the button to feed it slow. Here's the button to feed it fast. You double click on that, it'll auto feed. Double click on that, it'll auto feed quickly. And here's a little guard so you don't burn your finger. Here's the light indicating when it's ready. Here's the temperature settings and on and off. A manual temperature setting right here. You stick your mini screwdriver in there and you can adjust the settings. And there's a little trap door so you can clean out the unit. And there's the power. The power goes in right here. Now it comes with 25 PLA plastic strands and 25 ABS plastic strands and there's also a third kind is uh, I think it's called flex which is really flexible now the ABS goes through the unit real smooth and it tends not to get clogged too often whereas the PLA tends to get clogged so you have to increase the temperature now after increasing the temperature I had less clogs now the pros for the PLA is that it's easier to mold in my opinion because it stiffens right away Whereas the ABS goes through the pen like butter, but it's, it comes out soft, which is harder to mold. Now it comes with an extra trap door to clean out the unit in case yours breaks. It is made of plastic. And here's the cleaning tool. Here's the tool to remove the tip. And this is the tool to adjust the temperature settings. And obviously this is the power. Well, in case you ever lose your adapter, it takes five volts and it's a 1.2 amp adapter. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And the light means it's warming up. Now the blue light right here means it's warm and it's ready. So it kind of works like a hot glue gun in a way. And now if you if it ever gets clogged, you can take the tip off because it is warm. So it would be easier to you know, unclog the pen. And to do that, you just remove this piece right here. Take this wrench. And you just turn it counterclockwise right there Be careful putting it back on you can burn yourself so use caution so I use my watch tool right here to switch out my watch band and that works really well cleaning out the tip so you can see right there it's clogged and I just basically push it through and to put it back together you just turn it clockwise and don't over tighten it you can break it so just make it snug. Now, if it ever gets clogged right here, what you want to do is you want to push this through like, like that. Pull this out right here. And then it unlocks the door. And then you could just pull it from this side right here on the side. And it comes out like that. See? Push down right here. Make sure you push down all the way. And then the U shape goes toward you. Now here's the temperature settings right here and it actually says 
off, low, and high. And you can see that right here. It tells you to adjust it. So you turn it clockwise to increase the temperature, turn it counterclockwise to decrease the temperature. And it does come with the tool. Just stick it in there clockwise to increase the temperature or counterclockwise to decrease. And then to unclog it, you just shove this tool right in here. Make sure it's warm, the pen is warm. And you can feed it through right here and clean out the unit. Or you can also do it this way, open that up and clean it out that way as well. Now, if you hold down the slow button, now I recommend using the slow button if you're a beginner. And if you double tap it, the auto feed, one, two. All right, and then tap it again, it turns it off. Now, if you tap once and hold, it'll manually feed it through. And then when you release, it'll stop. To reverse the strand, you hold down both buttons and then you can swap out the plastic sticks. So let's go ahead and give it a whirl. Let's try the PLA strands. I'm gonna cut that. Feed it through here, boom. And then you wanna double tap right here. One, two. And you have to feed it through at first. Now some of the old plastic stick is coming out. So you're gonna have to just wait until you hit black. It's really hot. You can burn yourself, so be really super careful. And then let's go ahead and see if it does the 3D doodling. So I did make something out of 3D. So it does work. Now with this PLA plastic strands, you have to set the temperature on the pen a lot hotter because it would get jammed up in the pen. That's what I experienced. Seems to work a lot better without the tip. So here's my three, um, here's my two 3D doodles. One's for the PLA plastic strands, and this is for the ABS plastic strands. Now I did take off the tip, so you can see how much thicker and cleaner the lines are when you take off the tip. Mm -hmm. 